tucked away in Vista Heritage is a 1967 classic mobile cinema. Originally, the vehicle was paired with a trailer and was part of seven other mobile cinemas. It's now the last one of its kind, but it's got a lot of history behind it. She was made 50 years ago. She's one of seven cinemas that were made by the Ministry uh, of Technology, uh, the forerunner to the Department of Trade and Industry. Uh, Tony Benn was the man in charge of it, and it was uh, all part of Harold Wilson's white heat of technology. The seven cinemas were made to travel around to engineering firms to teach them how they could improve their production techniques. And uh, the scheme lasted for seven years, and the cinemas all had a uh, different region of the, uh, of the country to work. Audrey, this one, uh, worked up in Scotland and uh, travelled around for those seven years. Um, at the end of those seven years, the, uh, the next government disbanded the scheme and sold them all off to private owners. Known as Audrey, the cinema was sold to a lord, along with its trailer. It was used to promote the Flying Scotsman, and the trailer was later donated to a worker to be used as an office. She was owned by Lord McAlpine. Now, he'd, um, he's a mad uh, keen steam train fan, and uh, he uh, had heard about the plight of uh, the famous Flying Scotsman in America. He helped salvage the Flying Scotsman, um, bringing it back to the UK. And to promote the return of the Flying Scotsman, he used Audrey, this very same cinema, painted green and, uh, and livered up as the Flying Scotsman, travelling around telling people the good news about the return of the famous, uh, famous locomotive. The other six vehicles and trailers were destroyed, leaving just Audrey left with no indication of the whereabouts of her trailer. But 40 years later, it was found in a farm in Wiltshire with the same registration plate. They were split up in 1975 uh, and uh, uh, 40 years later, uh, unbeknownst to anyone, it, that trailer was still existing. And uh, for one, one way or another, it managed to travel all the way down to, um, to a farm in Wiltshire. And... Uh, uh, the profile that Audrey had had uh, meant that people recognised it and understood the, kind of what it looked like and all the rest of it. And, uh, and one chap had realised he'd seen some, uh, a trailer like it in this, uh, in this farm near, uh, near Wiltshire. So he, um, he alerted uh, various people to its existence. Uh, and following a trip, they realised actually it was the very same trailer. Uh, so they'd been separated for 40 years, but amazingly still, still, still surviving and still um, and back together now. Ben Morehouse now owns the last 1960 mobile cinema, along with its original trailer. But he needs £80,000 to turn the trailer drastically around. He's hoping to restore the trailer and use it as a 1930s themed cocktail bar. We're looking to raise about 80000 and uh, so that's a, that's a significant amount of money. So we're, we're only a few days into it at the moment, so only a, we're a few thousand into the, uh, into the, um, into the appeal. So the plan is to get the, uh, the trailer restored into some uh, usable uh, space that we can uh, then take take around with uh, with Audrey to events and festivals, and uh, that's that's the, that's the dream. Uh, it would be lovely if we could make it happen, and uh, so externally she'll be very much true to how she would have been in the 60s. So the cream with the blue strip through the middle, uh, but internally I'm going to use the same license that Ollie took with the uh, the cinema, and. Uh, get uh, 1930s themed kind of event space. Over the years, Audrey has had new seats added, a fresh light blue strip on the side of its exterior and a new projectory system installed. It holds 24 seats and has been welcomed by many festivals. Kirsty Chambers, That's TV.